Hi guys, my name is Marie Sul, and today we're doing a Tarot 101 course, and this is the third installment of the Cup Suits. And starting off, we have the Seven of Cups, and the Seven of Cups is pretty much options. You have a lot of them. You have, if you notice, all the cups here have um, different things in their well in, the, in their in their cups uh, it has stars a castle uh, a mask one has a snake in it one has jewelry coming out of it a uh, dragon and um, a laurel leaf um, and also the cups themselves have if you haven't noticed have little designs on them I don't know if you could see that let me move this a little closer for you guys but as you can see, the cups themselves have designs on them, different ones. And basically what that means is that you have a lot of options. The only thing is at the moment, because <clears throat> cups is all about emotion and not action, you haven't taken any actions. You're sort of like, you know, like I've got all these options, but I just don't know what to do with them. It's more of um, you're kind of like fantasizing um your options. So each option, <coughs> excuse me, um, you have a, a large possibility with them. So you're sort of fantasizing each outcome of those possibilities. And each one has something that emotionally satisfies you. Your job at this point is to figure out what that is, which, what which one is the most important? Which one is the one that you want to achieve? So <clears throat> it's kind of the the beginning of something, but it's also the renewal of of your imagination. Because if you notice in uh, the last video, the um, I think it was the four and the um, and the five was all about you know being tired and also about crying over spilled milk and things that you can't have and that you've lost and now it's a little bit of a okay I've rejuvenated and I've I've refreshed everything and I've sort of a clean slate so what are my options that I'm emotionally attached to that I can uh, force or uh, put myself in the path to achieve and that's what you're pretty much doing at this point you're sort of thinking out uh, outside the box with your emotions, not with your logic of what you want to achieve. Um, so there's a lot of possibilities, a lot of growth there as well, because you're using your imagination, you're using your emotions to, in a, in a way, f um, move yourself forward, propel yourself. Um, it's actually a very good card to be in because the possibilities are endless, um, because you're using a lot of your imagination and um, the possibilities are pretty much endless, so it's actually a fun a fun time to be in your life. Okay, and um, <clears throat> now we have the Eight of Cups, and if you notice, yeah, there are eight cups, but on the background you have a, a man, or what it looks like to be a man, uh, with a staff, and he is moving away from the cups. Now, what that symbolizes um, traditionally is um, letting go of things that you don't need, letting go of the the, the things that, that have hurt you, the things that um, hold you back emotionally, and uh, moving to a better, uh, a better time in your life. And if you notice, in this one you have many options that you're, you know, thinking them through, you're imagining them, you're 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 having uh, all the scenarios, all the possibilities, and you're playing with them uh, to see the possibilities. And here, you've already this is at this point you've already you've already done that, and now you've made your decision. So you're letting go of all the other possibilities that you had that did not fit quite what quite right, and you've already picked the one that you want. So you're moving with that one, and you're leaving the other ones behind um, because you can't stay in that state forever. You have to do something with what you have and what you've um, come up with and imagined. So this is all about uh, 
moving with what you what you've decided, but emotionally, not physically, not um, not not in any other way, just emotionally. Um, so physically, you may have not done anything to achieve that goal, that emotional goal, but emotionally, you've already decided that you are going to achieve that, whatever that may be you've already decided what it is or what you're going to achieve emotionally. Okay, guys? <clears throat> now we have the nine, the nine of cups. Now this is all about having your wish fulfilled. It's all about, you know, being happy and going like, finally, emotionally, I am really cool right now. Like everything's going my way. Um, everything that I've wished for, everything that I've hoped for has finally come true in a very positive way. And if you notice, the, this man looks very drunk. He looks very like, oh, dude, this is awesome. Um, he's very jovial. He's very happy. Um, that you, so that lets you know that it's, it's a cup, uh, uh, the nine of cups is all about Fulfilling those wishes, fulfilling those desires that you've had, and it's it's that they've come true. So right there, that's very simple. That's not a hard uh, card to to realize. Uh, traditionally, I believe it's a guy sitting on a chair with a bunch of cups um, around him, similar to this, just not so close up. It's more like far away. But also, this is f being fulfilled but just by yourself. Meaning your whole entire family doesn't may not feel this way, but you as an individual feel fulfilled um, when it comes to your emotions. Um, so it could mean that you've won the lotto. It could be, you know, that the guy that you liked or the girl that you liked, that, that special someone likes you right back. Um, you got the job you wanted. Uh, you have, you know, like, not just a job that you wanted, but like your dream job. You know, things are within that nature, that you are fulfilled emotionally. Okay? Then we go to the Ten of Cups. Now, I know I said that in the Nine of Cups, <coughs> excuse me, guys, <clears throat> was all about being emotionally fulfilled when it comes to certain aspects of your life, and it's only you who are fulfilled. Um, in the 10, it is more of a long-lasting fulfillment, and it's not just you that you get it from, from, from yourself, it's that you also get it from other people, and that other people are also fulfilled in your life. So it's a, it's sort of like that, we may not have money, we may not have, you know, like, we may not have money, we may not have all those material things that make us happy, but emotionally, you and your family unit, whether it be a, 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 a traditional family or a non-traditional type family unit, are content and happy with what you have. And you're very fulfilled, but not just yourself, but your family, you're the people around you, the people that, um, that you are connected to emotionally whether it be by blood or by friendship, you, they fulfill you just because they are in your lives. And you fulfill theirs because you're in their lives. Um, so it's more of a family unit of, uh, of just your whole entire environment and not just, um, like in the, in the Nine of Cups, it's not just, um, unlike the Nine of Cups, it's not just your feelings for one particular thing that you've wished for. Because... Here it's everything, and where in the nine it's just a particular subject that you are fulfilled with, meaning a dream job or the person that you've always always had a crush on, uh, and you finally get that or get that person or something with that nature, like you got the present that you wanted for Christmas, something with that nature. Where here it's all encompassing. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I have a really bad cough, but um. Now this is what we have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the 7, 8, and 9, and 10 of Cups. 
Now guys, the next video will be the court cards, uh, which will be the um, page, knight, queen, and king of cups. That'll be coming up next, and other than that, um, much love and blessings, guys.